Hey guys, Jessica here, the Ferry Family Coach. I hope you can hear me because it's really loud in here. Um, I'm at the airport and my husband and I are gonna go on a little trip, um, which is exciting, but also like a ton of anxiety. And I know you guys feel the same way, so I wanted to come on and talk to you about it um, because I hate leaving my pets. And it's like the worst part of traveling is leaving my pets. So just kind of give you a little glimpse around. I'm for real at the airport. We're gonna go on a trip and leaving the pets is the absolute hardest thing to do in the world and um, our dog especially. We're going somewhere where we felt like it wasn't gonna be the, the best place to take her. Somebody was thought the camera was turned around and was like waving at the camera. Um, we figured it wasn't gonna be the best place to take her so we decided um, that we were gonna leave her at home this time. and. Fortunately, I have been using pet sitters for a number of years and I have this one company that I really like um, and one person that I really love and unfortunately, she couldn't do everything I needed to do. So we actually have a bunch of different people coming um, to the house, people staying at our house and gosh, it's just, it's a lot of anxiety. But I wanted to share with you something that I did that not only makes me feel a little bit better about leaving them, but also helps the pet sitters immensely. So I created, um, I, I, I mean, I use Google Docs. I love Google Docs. So I created this Google Doc and uh, shared it with all of my pet sitters. And of course I printed it out. And it's like, I don't know, probably 20, 30, 30 pages long. But I have like pictures of all of my pets um, with names and any special needs and medications they take so that they can easily identify which pet needs what medication or what special, anything special going on. And just literally like instruction after instruction after instruction of everything that needs to get done from feeding to cleaning litter boxes to you know making sure not to put um kim's food or the cat's food any of the food in the microwave don't thaw anything in the microwave because obviously we know that microwaves um damage the cell structure of our food and can cause cancer and other health issues so you know just all of these things i put it down in like it's probably like 30 pages of all these instructions that I wanted the pet sitters to know and of course I had them come to the house and I went over all the instructions but they're all written down they're all printed out ready to go um, from you know what kind of snacks they can have to medications they need to just any and everything you could possibly think of I you know there's a whole section there's a, like a paragraph in there about um, you know only attaching the leash to the harness on my dog never putting uh never attaching a leash to a collar and you know these people are professionals they walk dogs every day and they pet sit every day but you know everybody has their own preferences of what needs to be done for their pets and sometimes they don't think about these simple things that you know putting a leash on a collar can really damage the throat of your pet like it can damage the esophagus there are you know arteries and blood vessels going through the neck that can really easily be damaged and you you don't want that to happen to your pet so you know i just wrote everything out in um i put it in google docs because that way i always have access to it if they have a question i'm I, you know i can pull it up on my phone it's in my google doc they can pull it up if uh, you know it's printed out and on the counter at home super easy um for them and it just it makes me feel better so that I know they're getting all of the instruction if they have any questions they can always refer to it if they can't get a hold of me right away so that's like you know one of the things that that makes it a little bit easier 
when you're traveling is to know you've put everything that you wish for your pet down on paper and just there for your pet sitters to always have access to, to, you know, go back and reference if they ever have any questions. And you know me, I have a bunch of pets, so I have a lot of instructions. And one thing that they said that was really super helpful, especially for the pet sitter who hasn't done pet sitting for me before, um, was that I printed out pictures of all of my pets and wrote down their names. And like I was saying before, I wrote down their names and I wrote down any medications they need, any anything special going on with that pet. Um, it's all right there in the instruction manual. And then on top of that, I took and I broke it down day by day and everybody that's coming at what time they're coming and you know who's staying the night and how long they're gonna be at the house and what specifically I need them to do at that time of day because my cats, as you probably know, are not free fed. They don't eat kibble, so they have to be fed at certain times. So, uh, and of course, Kim, um, is on her raw food diet and she normally gets fed at a certain time and she has certain treats and snacks that she likes. So putting that all down on paper um, was really helpful for me and for my pet sitter. So I wanted to give you guys that little tidbit and piece of advice. Um, write it down. You can never give them too much information and the more information they have, the better job they can do for you in taking care of your pets. So um, I also wanted to mention real quick because I have been getting a ton of questions and um, about this. I have a new ebook um, that I, I think I launched it a couple of months ago, but I have been getting a ton of questions about it. So I wanted to tell you guys, uh, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. It's amazing. There is tons of information in it. It actually contains my seven, um, yeah, seven canine commandments. Um, which are the seven miracle steps of, of training your dog. But guys, even if you just have cats, these principles are gonna be life-changing for you and your cats as well. But if you have a dog, oh my goodness, it is night and day. So go ahead and click the link. I put it in the description of the video. Um, bit.ly slash the number seven miracle steps. And you can grab your copy. Um, super, I mean like five bucks, guys, and hey, if you don't have time to read it, no problem. I mean, you can read it in an afternoon, but if you don't have time, I also give you an option of buying the audio so you can just, you know, get on the treadmill, get on your bike, um, walk your dog and listen to it. Really cool. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. If you have any additional tips um, for instructions or what helps relieve your anxiety about leaving your pets at home with pet sitters, post it in the comments. I would love to hear about it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get back. We're gonna get on our plane soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.